years I was here. I was born in South Africa in 1933. And for a young white boy, I had a pretty normal school to matric. University became a civil engineer. But I grew up in a home of two people who were communists, my parents, and learned that I have to respect people. Race was not important in our home. I wanted to be an engineer. I wanted to build houses and railways and roads and bridges for people. That was my dream. And then I discovered I could build for white South Africans. It's not black South Africans, it's not for people. So first you change the country, then you can be an engineer. And it took too long, so I never became an engineer again. How growing up, as I did in World War II, where even white South Africa joined Britain and the other allies against Nazi Germany, against racism, against domination and control. And yet in South Africa, we practiced all the very things that we were fighting against. And the people of Cuba could be struggling for freedom. Why couldn't our people? It was the right thing to do. But you were white. They were not your people. Yes, they were my people. They might, all people are my people. This is what I'm trying to tell you. It's about justice. It's about equality. It's about respect for human dignity and life. Dennis Goldberg endured 22 years in a Pretoria jail as one of a handful of white political prisoners. I don't know if I could take it now that I'm old, you know. I suppose if I had to endure it, I would. But you needed to be young to deal with it. And determined, you know, you weren't going to let them defeat you. What did your parents think of you then? Oh, my parents were very proud of me. The day I was sentenced to life imprisonment, my mother said that her life was fulfilled through me. I wasn't just her little boy anymore, I was her comrade. What we have to do as individuals is say, no, I'm not going to judge the book by its cover, the person by the skin cover, color. I'm going to say, is this a person I could like? And if I don't have to love everybody, and I don't want to be loved by everybody, that would be a terrible burden. Really, it would be a burden. But I do have to be polite and courteous so that we can get on and cohere as people of different cultural backgrounds to enrich each other. Dennis Goldberg, Ahmed Katrada, this day, 50 years ago, you were sentenced to life imprisonment, and yet here you sit free men um, living in a, in a brand new South Africa. What does it feel like looking back 50 years? How did you feel standing there? Because Mandela is in his words saying he's prepared to die. You got the death sentence hanging over your head. He voiced that concern. You were the rest of those that were being accused and could follow suit. How did you feel when he said that? I, I must confess that I knew what he was going to say because we'd all read the speech and we'd discussed it with him. But when he said it, I realized he was saying, hang them all, hang all of us. And I felt just a sense of elation to share this moment. It was such a moment of pride. You don't choose to be on trial for your life, you know, but to have it stated in such, with such courage and elegance, I like to think of it as grace under fire. Yeah. And a great moment in my life, yeah. truly. 
And I think for all of us, there yeah. was no sense of fear. And uh, the instruction was very clear that I must dress you in this attire. Oh, yes. You look like a sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Struggle stalwart Dennis Goldberg has been honoured with a musical tribute in Cape Town. His Legacy Foundation is raising funds for a youth arts and culture facility for the less fortunate youth in Heart Bay. And so my idea is I've seen young people come out of school bubbling over with excitement. They get a sandwich, they get a cup of soup in the winter and they make music and they make it together. So I'm grateful that I'm part of this um, celebrating his 85th birthday and fundraising for the, for the House of Hope. Um, he's, uh, he could have sat at home with his family or friends or people very close to him and had lunch or dinner, but he decided he wants to dedicate his life to the children of South Africa, and I'm very grateful to be part of that. Proceeds of the concert will go to the Dennis Goldberg Legacy Foundation's Fund for the House of Hope project. Vanessa Kuna, SABC News, Cape Town. My vision is an art and culture training centre where the young people and their parents of Hart Bay can come together through their creative abilities. And I would like people who want to support us to be part of it. And I see young people everywhere saying, we want to be together, they go to school together, they make music together. They dance together, they make love together, they make babies together. And this for me is a new South Africa. And this art and culture, I've seen people come together and enjoy their lives and grow as people.